Noam Chomsky once said, It's a near miracle that nuclear war has so far been avoided. We've certainly come close more times than many people realize. Even more frightening is that nuclear detonations can sometimes not work as intended. Here then is our list of nuclear detonations that went horribly wrong. We commence at number 10 literally with a big bang and a show of extraordinary foolhardiness on the part of the Soviet Union. It happened in 1965 when the Soviets got the brilliant idea that they could form a new lake by using a nuclear bomb. They bombed a new crater with a diameter of 408 meters and 100 meters deep. They then dug a canal between a nearby river and the crater to form a lake. Unfortunately, they forgot to take gravity and radiation into consideration. To this day, Lake Shagan in what is modern-day Kazakhstan is massively radioactive and basically dead. Talk about cratered thinking. Our number nine was admitted to in a report released by the U.S. government in 1987. An underground nuclear test dubbed Mighty Oak in a tunnel at a test site in Nevada went awry in April 1986. The purpose of this test was to assess the effects a nuclear explosion could have on different types of military equipment. There was a fault in the design of a pipe resulting in a bigger detonation and the destruction of about $32 million worth of diagnostic equipment and other military material. The report only hinted that it all could have gone much, much worse. Number eight wasn't a single detonation, but a series of detonations over a number of years. Most of the detonations would have been considered a quote-unquote success, for want of a better word. However, collectively, these detonations were an ecological disaster. The culprit was the Soviet Union, and the place was Novaya Zemlya, consisting of two islands approximately 250 miles from the Arctic Circle. The USSR conducted 130 nuclear tests there in the atmosphere, underground, and the surrounding oceans between 1954 and 1990. Today, it is the most radioactive place in the Arctic. The nuclear arms race was just genius, right? Number seven is a prime example of a nuclear detonation that was considered a triumphant success at the time, but in fact was an unmitigated disaster. In November 1952, the United States detonated an 82-ton device that yielded an estimated 10.4 megatons of explosive power. That's almost 500 times the power of the atomic bomb dropped in Nagasaki. The place was Inawatak, an atoll in the Pacific Ocean. The blasts obliterated islands and produced far larger quantities of fallout in the form of lethal radioactive particles than had ever been anticipated. It was a success gone wrong. It seems incredible, but at number six, we have six U.S. Air Force officers who agreed to stand beneath an atmospheric nuclear test. This is what happened 65 miles northwest of Las Vegas in July 1957. The men had, unbelievably, volunteered to stand in the designated spot and were filmed jauntily doing it. They even placed a sign next to them that read, Ground Zero Population 5. That was a bit of cheek since there was actually a sixth guy also standing there. The guy filming all the footage, of course. Amazingly, although all the men of course developed cancer, most lived into their 80s. Those were some strong genes. Imagine having a nuclear test to investigate the viability of nuclear weapons for mining, engineering, and other civilian projects. That's what number five is all about. Stordok Sedan, was a shallow underground nuclear test conducted at Yucca Flat facility in Nevada in July 1962 as part of a series of tests known as Operation Plowshare. The detonation resulted in a radioactive cloud that separated into two plumes rising to 10,000 feet and 16,000 feet. That test remains to this day the single largest contributor to nuclear fallout in the continental United States. We could guess nuclear bombs aren't great for mining after all. Huh. Miscalculation of just how powerful nuclear detonations can be has been a major contributing factor to the many failures 
As occurred with our number four, Starfish Prime was a high-altitude nuclear test conducted by the United States in July 1962. It was the largest nuclear test ever conducted in outer space and one of five conducted to date by the U.S. in space. The pulse from the detonation, 250 miles into space, was far greater than expected. Radiation belts spontaneously formed and eventually crippled one-third of the satellites in space at the time. It was a total, hugely expensive disaster. At number three is the nuclear bomb to beat all nuclear bombs. It came out of the Soviet Union and was a hydrogen bomb the Soviets codenamed Ivan or Vanya. The bomb had an astounding yield of 50 megatons of TNT. The Soviets had originally wanted it to be twice as powerful. It was detonated on Cervini Island, which was part of Novaya, Zemlya, a test site mentioned already at number eight on our countdown. Its fireball could be seen 600 miles away. Put simply, the Tsar Bomba was the single most powerful device ever deployed by mankind. Its impact was untold, and that is why this monster appears on this countdown. Number two is about a nuclear bomb that ranks as one of the most famous of all time, and that was an unforeseen catastrophe. The detonation took place near the Bikini Atoll, yes, after which revealing swimming attire for ladies was named in March 1954. The problem was that the thermonuclear device was 2.5 times stronger than it had been calculated. As a result, fallout was immense and local islanders suffered horrible radiation sickness and cancer. Crew on a nearby Japanese fishing vessel all experience acute radiation syndrome. To this day, this area of the Marshall Islands is considered a dead zone by locals. We've left number one for what is undoubtedly one of the worst disasters arising from a nuclear detonation. Fallout from a nuclear weapons test by the Soviet Union at Semipalatinsk in August 1954 engulfed the industrial city of, of Us Kamenogorsk over 100 miles away. Cancer rates dramatically increased, as did infertility, birth defects, and mental defects. Around 200,000 people were directly affected. The horrors of that test were covered up by the Soviet Union for decades. To this day, 1 in 20 babies in the area are born with birth defects. Such are the radiation levels. Those then are 10 examples of nuclear detonations that went horribly wrong. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching and thanks for learning.